am I making the right decision on this? I don't know. Okay, so we are going over what our math curriculum picks are for next year. I am super excited to be sharing these things with you guys. Um, today's video is a collaboration hosted by myself and Devine over at Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. I'm gonna link her video and the playlist down for this in the description bar, so make sure that you check it out when you are done with this video. Uh, let's get started with my first grader. So, we this year did the good and the beautiful for both my kindergartner and my fourth grader and I really really loved it for my kindergartner uh, it was very quick to the point short lessons and there wasn't any fluff in it and I really really enjoyed that and so did she and it was beautiful and just fun so we are using that again for her we are going to be doing their math level one you guys these books they're fun they're hands-on they try to make it you know into like little games and just enjoyable and she really developed a love of math this year with um, just using their kindergarten book. So that's what some of it looks like on the inside. And then I also got their addition flashcards and their subscri uh, su subscription. I have got subscription boxes on the brain, I think because summer is coming up, but I got their subtraction flashcards. <laughs> so I think these will pair well with the lessons and just giving her that extra practice. Now, I know that they usually have little math boxes that go with their curriculums. This last year for kindergarten, I did not buy one. So if you're sitting there like looking at the good and the beautiful and wondering like, do I really need to buy this math box? No, I was a very, it was very easy to just find things around the house that she was able to use for each of the lessons and we didn't have to have the math box. This year, I did end up purchasing their first grade math box, which is really cute because they have like a little clock on the outside so she can practice her time. But um, I really just did this out of convenience and in all honesty, I have a toddler, so I'm kind of like not excited about using this just because I feel like the pieces are gonna end up all over the house instead of staying in the box and then we're just gonna lose them and we're gonna go back to using the things that we used last year. So if you're sitting there wondering, do I have to have the math box? No, you can easily find things around the house. But if you don't have a toddler <laughs> and you you know, want just like the convenience of everything being inside, then go for it. It'll, it'll just make it more convenient for you. Now for fifth grade math. I kind of pushed back on my son a little bit because I was like, hey, because we use the good and the beautiful for him this year too. And I was like, let's change math for next year. And he was like, let's not. And so I decided to compromise and we're going to use the good and the beautiful math five for him. Now, some of the things that I did not like about their math four, and I have mentioned this in a previous video. So if you've already seen that, you know my reasons. I'm sorry I'm repeating it, but... There are people who have not seen it, so I want to express some of my dislikes in case it's something that would be make or break for you. Now, when they were doing their area and perimeter problems, they would give very, very simple explanations. Like they would give you like an L shape and be like, break it up and figure out what the area is. And it would walk you through the steps on how to do that. But then when they would give you like the child their independent work it would give them like something crazy like a c and then it'd be like break it up and to me it's like if you're going to give them independent work then give them independent work that's exactly like the example you gave them where it's simple instead of giving them a simple example and then a complex independent work so i didn't like that um one of the things that i really did not like about their answer key because I'm good at math, I love math, but sometimes I also need a refresher. And I did not like how they just give you the answers instead of like a walkthrough on how they got there and how to solve it. So, um, so I didn't like that because if you do need a refresher and you're not getting 
a clear understanding from their videos or from their explanation in the book, then it's a little bit of a struggle to figure out what it is. Now I will say that there are wonderful mothers on the Good and the Beautiful Facebook pages, like the parent pages, not the ones actually from the Good and the Beautiful, and they are very helpful and they will help you figure it out. That's what I did when I got like the complex like C <laughs> breaking it up for the area and things like that but um and luckily we did not run into too many of those problems but again like I said I'm good at math so you know I'm not sure if there were more issues like that in the book that I just didn't um struggle with because you know like I'm a math nerd or if there just weren't any issues but because we are getting into harder math i did want my son to transition to a different program something that would give better parent assistance better child assistance and so i'm not completely sold on using this for next year like i said my son wants to use it so i do want to go with what he enjoys and what he wants to use but you know if anybody knows a really good math curriculum <laughs> then drop it down below in the in the description bar because I would love to hear it just to have a backup in case this ends up not working out or at least for you know the following year for sixth grade so that is everything that we are using for our math picks next year let me know down below if you already have yours picked out for next year or if you are currently browsing around to see what everybody else is using and why they are using it if you like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up hit that red subscribe button make sure to check out our extracurricular picks next monday and don't forget to check out the playlist and see what everyone else is using go get some ideas there and i will see you again later bye